<laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome to vlog number three. We are on our way to Eagle Ridge Hospital Auxiliary Thrift Shop in Port Coquitlam. We're excited. We're gonna do an interview. We might buy some stuff. Uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll see you there. Hey guys, we are currently here at the Eagle Ridge Hospital Auxiliary Thrift Shop with Barb and we're just going to take a look back at what the students have helped create with the thrift shop and what's kind of going on now. Hi, I'm Barb Warwood. I am a vice president of the auxiliary as well as manager of the thrift shop here. So for the first question, we just wanted to know sort of the history of the thrift shop. Five years ago, um, probably going on six now, we, uh, we had a bunch of ladies that got together and thought that opening a thrift shop would be a good way to generate some money for the auxiliary. And actually five years ago, this coming Saturday, we opened. So this is our, our fifth anniversary. Um, I have been manager now, I think going on for two years. And it's it's going great guns. <laughs> it's We're awesome. doing well. Awesome. As you can, I don't know if you can pick that up. This is our ad that was in the newspaper on Friday. Oh, sorry. And that's we have donated the through the whole auxiliary one million two hundred and seventy four thousand six hundred and thirty six dollars and ninety nine cents to amazing. Eagle Ridge Hospital. That is. The uh, auxiliary has actually been around for 42 years wow. and that's also coming up the anniversary of the auxiliary. Uh, we were created before the hospital was even there. We were created to generate funds and interest for the hospital. So that's it's, amazing. It is amazing. Yeah, that's <laughs> I know, I know, you know. Is how does the thrift shop benefit the community? Well, as you can see, we've we've purchased a number of items um, for the hospital, which which services the Tri Cities. Uh, uh, recycling. We get stuff that you know goes in the landfill, doesn't go in the landfill. We we act as uh, you know re. re Purposing yeah. things, um, community people. We have a sense of community here. We, you know, make friends new to the new to the area. Great to volunteer, come and meet some new people. Sense of purpose for yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. So for the next question, uh, what, did, <laughs> what did the students help create for you? Um, there's been a real number of things that they created for us. Um, the Shop Safe Support logo that we have on all of our things. Um, they created Dr. Bear. Yeah. Um, he's sitting out front there uh, overseeing everything. Um, we've had a student that worked hard on getting um, we're all a little older and probably not as tech savvy as, as we could be. So he created a, our Facebook page, got us set up with a MailChimp account so that we can, uh, you know, do blasts about what's what's going on, what we're doing. But he worked really hard and, it, you know, he printed stuff up for us so that we can, uh, you know, keep expanding on it. Yeah. So it's not just, these aren't just things that, that died, yeah. you know, when he left us. It's, mm -hmm. He's kept us going. That's um, he got us hooked up with um, shopping bags, the reusable shopping bags. Oh, that's we, nice. we used a grant from Envision to purchase them and he set up the logo on them. Um, he helped us rearrange uh, some of the store items and to, to do some of our signage wow. um, gave us suggestions uh, from a marketing standpoint of, of what is going to to look better, what's going to drive some sales, what's going to make our shop look better. And we 
always get compliments on our shop how how nice it looks how how much uh, how clean it is yeah we well, just walking yeah. in we were looking around and Danny was just saying how cute everything looks yeah, yeah. Uh, you know so and we've got a great team of volunteers that, that help us you know create that look and keep it keep it going from, yeah. from what they've started all right so last question what's the future goals of 2018 for the thrift shop Okay. Keep making money. <laughs> <laughs> Keep making money. That's, you know, this is our focus. We're 100% volunteer. Yeah. Nobody's getting paid here. And, you know, so other than, than what it takes to run this shop, it's, it's going to the hospital. And that's with their, they're planning now a big, uh, you know, the emergency room has been announced. The expansion of the emergency room is a lot of money that they're going to need, and uh, that's that's our focus: awesome. is sell stuff and make money for the for the hospital. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Well, thank you for joining us and letting us interview you and letting us kind of catch up and see what's going on. Thank you. Yeah. So. Hey guys, we have arrived at Surrey Food Bank and we're gonna go right inside. See you in there.